Now, hello students. In today's video, we are going to study physiology of taste. That is how do we experience taste of food and we will also study about the gustatory pathway. Now, here we should know that the sense of the taste is also known as gustation. Now, very important, we experience taste by the taste buds. So, first of all, let's understand what are taste buds. Now, taste buds are tiny sensory organs that allow us to taste food. So, look at this uh, figure of tongue. Now, taste buds are located inside tiny bumps covering our tongue. Now, these bumps are known as papillae. Now, there are four types of papillae. Now, papillae that contain taste buds are uh, circumvallate papillae, then foliate papillae and fungiform papillae. Now, circumvallate papillae, these are largest and they are located at the base of tongue. And these papillae, as you can see here, are arranged in an inverted V shape. Then, uh, foliate papillae, these are located on the sides at the back of tongue. Then fungiform papillae, these are mainly located around the tip and edges of the tongue. Now papillae that do not contain taste buds are the filiform papillae. Now these are situated on the anterior two-third part of the tongue. These papillae do not contain taste buds but they roughen the surface of tongue and thus they provide grip and push the food inside the mouth. And uh, these papillae, they sense touch, temperature and pain. Now, the taste buds detect five basic tastes, namely sweet, salty, bitter, sour and umami. Now, umami is the savory or the meaty taste which occurs in food like tomatoes, asparagus, fish, mushrooms, etc. Now, whenever food is chewed, uh, the food mixes with saliva and breakdown of food releases chemicals and these chemicals then stimulate the taste buds. Now, each papillae contains hundreds of the taste buds and these taste buds are most abundant on the tongue. But apart from the tongue, they are also found on other parts like uh, uh, they are also found um, in the soft palate, throat, upper esophagus, epiglottis, etc. Uh, now look at this figure. This is the structure of the taste bud. Now each taste bud con contain three types of cells, namely uh, taste cells or the taste receptor cells, then uh, these yellow color supporting cells and these green color basal cells. Now, there are around 50 to 100 taste cells in each taste bud. In this diagram, we have shown only four taste receptor cells. Now, very important, each taste cell is specialized to detect a particular one taste. And each taste receptor cell possesses a hair-like extension called as microvilli. And this is a pore in the taste bud, which is called as a uh, micropore. Now, in addition to microvilli, every taste uh, cell also possess a receptor uh, that binds to the chemical in food. And uh, these taste cells, they also possess sensory nerve endings. Now, the microvilli first comes in contact with the chemical in the food. Then the chemical binds to the receptor. When the chemical binds to the receptor, this activates the sensory nerve ending and the chemical uh, in the food is converted to the nerve impulse. Now, this nerve impulse or this information, uh, it uh, goes from the taste bud to the brain. And in the brain, the taste is identified, the taste is perceived and we are able to uh, taste the food. Uh, now, let's understand how uh, taste receptor cells are activated. These are the taste receptor cells. As discussed, every taste receptor cell possess receptors. So, uh, the taste cells that uh, identify sweet, umami and bitter taste, they possess a G protein coupled receptors. In short, GPCRS. So, G protein coupled receptors, they bind to a sweet, umami and bitter component of the food while receptors with iron channel they bind to sour and sal salty component of the food so uh, the tastant uh, so when the tastant or taste moiety bind to the receptor 
uh, found on the taste cells the taste cell or the taste receptor cell undergoes depolarization action potential or the nerve impulses are generated and these nerve impulses are carried by the sensory nerve fibers now similar nerve fibers join together to form the cranial nerve and then the cranial nerve carry the taste signal to the cortical taste center of the brain and in the cortical taste center of the brain uh, the taste is uh, uh, perceived and we are able to find out the or we are able to feel the taste of the food uh, now very important let's understand the gustatory pathway uh, that is the pathway uh, which carries the taste signals from the taste buds to the brain where the taste is finally perceived or identified now gustatory pathway is innervated or the gustatory pathway is made up of three cranial nerves now these three cranial nerves are the uh, facial nerve facial nerve is a seventh cranial nerve then uh, glossopharyngeal nerve which is the ninth cranial nerve and vagus nerve that is the uh, tenth cranial nerve uh, now look at this uh, uh, figure it uh, depicts the gustatory pathway as you can see here this is the tongue and there are three cranial nerves uh, facial nerve glossopharyngeal nerve and the vagus nerve that uh, collect the taste information from the taste buds now this facial nerve it carries the taste information from the taste buds in the anterior two third region of tongue then glossopharyngeal nerve carries the taste information from the posterior uh, one third region of the tongue and the vagus nerve carries information from the taste buds in the epiglottis and also in the throat so all these three cranial nerves they carry the taste information from the taste from the taste bud and this information is carried by these nerves to the solitary nucleus in the medulla oblongata and from here the information is carried to the thalamus and finally to the gustatory cortex in the cerebral cortex where the taste is interpreted and identified uh, so uh, from the taste buds on the tongue uh, and uh, in the throat the taste information is carried by the facial glossopharyngeal and the vagus nerve to the solitary nucleus in medulla oblongata and from the medulla oblongata the taste information is further carried to the thalamus and then to the gustatory center in the cerebral cortex now this gustatory center in the cerebral cortex it lies at the border of frontal and temporal lobe and it is this area where the taste is uh, interpreted the taste is identified and uh, this is how we taste the food so this is all about the uh, physiology of the taste and gustatory pathway if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and uh, share this uh, information thanks for watching this uh, video